So Chelsea Manning is uh, back in prison. The Guardian says the following. The former U.S. Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning has been jailed for refusing to testify to a grand jury investigating WikiLeaks. U.S. District Judge Claude Hilton held Manning in contempt of court and ordered her jailed on Friday after a brief hearing in Alexandria, Virginia, where Manning confirmed she has no intention of testifying. She told the judge she, quote, will accept whatever you bring upon me. Manning says she is refusing to testify because she objects to the secrecy of the grand jury process and already revealed everything she knows at her court-martial. The judge said she will remain jailed until she testifies or until the grand jury concludes its work. Manning turned over a vast trove of military and diplomatic documents to WikiLeaks, an anti-secrecy website which made them public in 2010. She served seven years of a 35-year uh, military sentence and was freed after former President Barack Obama commuted her sentence. WikiLeaks responded, Chelsea Manning jailed for refusing to testify on WikiLeaks and Assange. Whistleblowers are now being forced to testify against journalists and sent to jail when they don't cooperate. A new angle in the attack on media freedom. So what they're trying to do here is get her to say stuff about Julian Assange that they can use to bring down Julian Assange. Apparently, if she says that Julian Assange tried to get her to give up information beforehand and she didn't go to him, but he almost went to her and said, hey, please give me this stuff beforehand, they can get him on some sort of crime if they do that. If they get her uh, to say that. And what she's doing is she's saying, first of all, I told you everything I already know, number one. Number two, this is a secret process, and it's a secret process because it's a malicious process, and you don't want transparency in this process because your tactics are wrong. So what she's doing is she's taking a stand on principle and saying, no, I'm not going to throw Julian Assange and WikiLeaks under the bus and therefore take a hatchet to First Amendment freedoms in this country. That's exactly what she's doing. And she's a hero. And by the way, it's not like Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. It's not like Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange are close now. My understanding is they haven't fucking talked since back in the day when she gave all the important information to WikiLeaks. And for the record, you know what she gave, right? We learned because of Chelsea Manning that uh, the U.S. was attacking civilians in Iraq. Was it Iraq or Afghanistan? I think Iraq. And... They, we killed civilians, we killed journalists, and then you heard the people who did it laughing about it. And when the first responders came, they blew up the first responders too. So just wanton disregard of civilian life. Chelsea Manning saw this. She said, I can't in good conscience just let this slip by. We need to address this. The American people need to know this so that they could stand up and try to stop these illegal offensive wars of aggression. And so she's a hero who stood up and said, I will not let my government do these things which are illegal, which are wrong. And if I'm technically doing something illegal by leaking this information to, uh, to journalists, well, so be it. I'll serve, the, I'll serve the time and I'll do the, I'll, you know, feel the consequences of it because it's important. People need to know about this. If what I'm doing is illegal, it shouldn't be illegal. So fine, lock me up, but I'm, I can sleep at night and my conscience is clear if I do the right thing. Now... Everybody, everybody who says they care about the Constitution, who says they care about the First Amendment, who says they care about free speech and a free press, you have to speak out in support of Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange. Because I got news for you. Even if you don't like Julian Assange, even if you think WikiLeaks lost their way and they were too pro-Trump in the last election, even if you think all that's the case, listen to me. This is about precedent. People struggle with this. I don't know why, but people struggle with this point. The idea that this isn't about any one isolated case. First of all, even if it was about one isolated case, you should still be on the side of, this is crazy, they're trying to crack down on Julian Assange and WikiLeaks simply for doing the crime of journalism. But it never stops here. Ever. So if the government establishes this logic of, yeah, we get to go after journalists who print stuff that we don't like, well, then they're never going to stop. When there's a right-wing administration, they're going to go after lefties who say stuff and expose stuff they don't want. When it's a left-wing administration, they're going to go after right-wing people who say stuff and expose stuff they don't want. It's, going to, it's just going to be a free-for-all crackdown on the media. And people are going to be scared straight to only say the things the government is okay with you saying. So that is authoritarianism 101. 
that you cannot challenge the status quo and the established narrative. And if you do that, well, we're going to lock you up or we're going to find a way to come after you and have some bullshit legalese around it. So Chelsea Manning is a hero. And yet again, she's behind bars for her principles. Apparently, uh, she'll be let go either when she says she will testify or at the end of these court, this court proceeding. Um, so I don't know how long that will be. But Chelsea Manning's a hero and everybody needs to know that.